all right what's up guys welcome back to another amazing video thank you so much for watching on this video i'm going to be showing you guys the cheapest way to be able to get your hands on some pulse chain tokens guys be sure to click the like button if you did enjoy and if you pretty much didn't know about this and if this video helped out so let's get right into it so we all know that the first thing that people thought about is bridging over your ethereum and you got to claim it you got to pay the gas fee guys so we all agree that ethereum can get really expensive like 30 40 50 dollars just to be able to bridge over pulse chain cheap fees amazing project there's a lot of meme coins out there there's a lot of great token projects out there that are skyrocketing in value my biggest bag right now is Dai. it's supposedly going to go a dollar no promises no guarantees please do your own research but I have a big bag of dye in which I hope it goes to the $1 mark and we make a lot of money. So do your research about that part. But Pulse Chain Bridge is normally what everybody does. And Ethereum gas fee is now at around 90 to 80 guay, give or take. It's too expensive, especially whenever it comes to new investors and people sometimes are too new to be able to do this and they get confused they get lost they potentially could lose some of that eth gas and just lose some money that could be used for pulse chain so i'm going to be showing you guys how to get it the cheapest way possible and a lot of people don't even know about this this kind of blows my mind actually but there is conga exchange i'm gonna leave this website down below in the description it is a you don't need a kyc you need to verify your identity nothing you can just make your account and once you do all you have to do is send over the cheapest coin on the cheapest gas fees which i do polygon that one has very very low fees in which you can sell it and get your hands on pls just send over whatever crypto you want to. It doesn't have to be Polygon. You can do BNB. You can do Doge. You can do Link. They have a bunch of tokens on here. If you, if in your portfolio or your MetaMask Trust Wallet, whatever you have, whatever token you have, if you're trying to really get your hands on some PLS and fast, send over your tokens to the exchange and just sell it to USDT. And from there, just buy PLS with the USDT. And then you can just automatically withdraw it to whatever wallet you want to. It's literally like one tenth of a fraction of fees from how Ethereum, if you would have been bridging over. Plus, whenever you're bridging over on the Pulse Chain Ethereum side, it can take 30 minutes, an hour, sometimes even more. So it's a headache. This right here, I promise you, it'll take you like 5, 10, 15 minutes max. And you will be able to get your hands on some PLS fast. And which you can, if you're afraid of missing out on a meme coin or a project that's about to do, you know, an ICO or whatever. Who I don't know who does ICOs now, but you guys get the drift. Then you don't want to miss out. Then this was where to go to in which you can do it really, really quick. And if you guys don't believe me, I can just, of course, pull it up. Oh, and also if you're trying, you're, if you're trying to get some PLS X, they also have it on here as well. So in case you want to get your hands on some PLSX, you can get it on here. So literally, it's on here. You can buy, you can sell, and then from here you can, if you have PLS that you want to sell as well, then just send it over to this exchange, swap it to whatever token you want to. Maybe you just want to do USDT stablecoin, or maybe you want to get your hands on some more Polygon, Ethereum, cash out on Ethereum. That's totally up to you, but this is super fast, very reliable. I've been using it for a long time already, and it, ha it has not let me down yet. They're great. Their support team is, I think they last about 24 hours to reply back, but they do take care of you, though, so that's a plus. So I highly recommend this um, exchange. Just be sure, guys, we all know how exchanges are. Don't keep your funds on exchanges. Always have them in your own private key wallets, in your own cold hot wallets, whatever you have, right? Be sure you have it out of the exchanges in case anything happens, just in case they lock up your coins, they exit scam, they, I'm not saying they will, but we all have seen and experienced all other exchanges that have done that in the past and a lot of the investors' funds are locked and they can't do anything about it and they just leave with your money. So 
Whatever you're trying to get your hands on to on any coins, make sure you withdraw it to your own personal wallet and keep it to yourself, okay? So I'm trying to look out for you guys. I'm trying to take care of you guys. I'm trying to save you money. And I hope this video does really good. And if it did, again, click the like button. But guys, that's going to be it for this video. Check out Conga Exchange. It's going to be down below in the description. All right, guys, take it easy. I'm out. Peace.